every time we come to the beach, we're always surrounded by ocean plastic. So today, we're gonna do something about all this waste. And since it's a beautiful day, we're gonna see if we can harness the power of the sun to melt any plastic we find right here on the beach. So let's go and find a beach that needs some love. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to put a beautiful website to help run your business. We often get asked whether or not the positive effect of recycling is kind of cancelled out by the amount of energy required to recycle. And whilst we focus on melting plastics at low temperatures, which is much more efficient than commercial recycling, we also power our workshop using energy sourced from 100% renewables. But to take this a step further, we thought we'd leave our workshop and take a little trip. And since we needed a little bit of extra muscle to help us carry all of our gear, we roped in our mate Ollie from Project Planet Earth to give us a hand. So, armed with our solar panels and a variety of other tools, we headed down this gorgeous coastal path to a little bay near where we live. Once we found a nice spot to drop off our stuff, we set to work setting up our solar panels and power bank. We're using our Jackery 1000 hooked up to two solar panels so that it can charge up whilst we clean plastic off the beach. Just to be clear, this video is not sponsored by Jackery. However, they did send us the product for free just to test out however we fancy. We then headed around the bay armed with our litter pickers to scour the beach for plastic. As well as finding lots of plastic, we found a few fossils as well. Can't melt those though. At the bottom of this small waterfall, there was quite a lot of plastic that collected up. But one of our best finds was this little ball, which would definitely come in handy later on. Once we collected as much plastic as we could find, including this giant piece of fishing net, we headed back to our spot. Before we recycled the plastic, we need to sort it all out, and the first step was to remove anything that we knew we couldn't use. This includes PET bottles, thin plastic films, and any fishing netting. All of the other bits, like the coloured bottles, the lids, and the beach toys, are things that we might be able to use. Now, Ollie cleans this bay regularly and he stashes all of his plastic ready to be sent off to the Ocean Recovery Project. So, any plastic that we can't use will definitely still get recycled. Next, we need to make sure that we have the right type of plastic. Now, one of the trickiest things when it comes to recycling ocean plastic is that more often than not, the recycling logo has either worn away or broken off completely. This can make it really difficult to work out what type of plastic it's made from. But luckily, we came prepared with a little tool that's going to solve this exact problem. This machine is called the Plastel and it scans different types of plastic using infrared and can tell what types they are based on their density. The plastic we're looking for here is polyethylene or PE and PE will melt at a low enough temperature to work on the panini press. Some of the lids and toys we found were actually polypropylene so we put these to one side to take back to our workshop for use later on. Up, we needed to make sure that the plastic was clean so that it bonded together really nicely when we melted it. Stupidly, we forgot our scourers and scrubbing brushes, but fortunately, this piece of old rope that we found worked perfectly to clean out those lids. And whilst we're cleaning, we thought we'd take a minute to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. 
If you're a regular viewer to the channel, you've probably guessed by now that we really love Squarespace. Squarespace were our platform of choice when it came to setting up and managing our website, so we were really excited when they contacted us to sponsor the channel. We initially went with them because of their great looking and really easy to use templates, which meant you didn't need to be a designer or a coder to put together a great looking website. These templates are also designed to work perfectly on both your phone and your computer. You can also edit your images directly in the browser, which means you don't need expensive software to make your content look as beautiful as possible. If any of that sounds good to you, you can check it out for yourselves with a free trial at squarespace.com. And once you find you love it as much as we do, head over to squarespace.com slash brothers make for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So whilst our clean plastic dried out in the sun, it was time to fire up our panini press. One thing to note is that the max output of this Jackery is a thousand watts, so we made sure we used the panini press with the same power rating. We used a knife to cut up some of those larger pieces and then loaded it up into the panini press. The press is ideal for this as the operating temperature is perfect for melting and not burning the plastic, meaning no toxic fumes. We were aiming to melt enough plastic to fill a simple wooden mould that we'd made in our workshop earlier on. Since we were at the beach already, we thought it'd be fun to make something that we could use while we were here, so we came up with a simple bat shape. Stretching and folding the plastic helps to bind it all together as well as removing any pockets of air before it goes into the mould. Once we had enough plastic, we placed it into the mould and then added as many clamps as we could carry to add some pressure. Now the plastic needs some time to cool, and since we're typical Brits, we thought, perfect time for a cuppa. hot drinks and a depressing lack of biscuits later, the mould was ready to unclamp. We trimmed all the squeeze out with a knife and gave the edges a quick once over with a deburring tool to round them over.
And of course, we were super careful to collect all of the bits that came off to be used on the next bat. And the resulting product is a super strong and uniquely marbled bat made from ocean plastic. And since it's no fun to play alone, we went back and made a second. This time we used about half as much plastic, which still gave it plenty of strength and was a bit more comfortable to hold. And that ball that we found earlier came in handy just like we thought, and we generally had wicked fun playing on the beach and in the sea with these little bats. The other great thing about using polyethylene is that it floats, so there's no chance of all our hard work sinking to the bottom of the sea. Now, we work with recycled plastic every single day, but there is definitely something super satisfying about spending an afternoon cleaning up a beach and then being able to enjoy the fruits of your labour right there and there. We really hope this video has inspired you in some way, maybe to go do a beach clean of your own or to have a go at recycling yourselves. If you want to pick up any of the tools that we use in this video, then check out the equipment links in the description below for all the tools that you'll need. A massive thanks to Ollie for a fantastic day filming and being a generally awesome dude cleaning up all our beaches. And an extra special thank you goes to some of the most exquisite people I know, the Brotherhood over on Patreon. These guys go the extra mile supporting us financially, which means we can have awesome days like we did today cleaning up one of these beaches. If you'd like to join the crew, check us out on patreon.com forward slash brothers make. We'd love to have you. Thanks for watching gang. See you on the next one.